the, the graph, essentially. They're showing you a chart uh, once again. And Invisible Enemy. So besides it being an obvious Stalinistic uh, homage, uh, you're talking about something that the body has been dealing with for since its inception, essentially, viruses. And then anti-social distancing, you have um, uh, well, basically <laughs> that is what it is. Uh, social distancing, uh, it's kind of an oxymoron, right? I mean, because when you're social, you're you're gathered in you know groups and you're being casual or uh, personable in some way. So. What they have us doing now is this whole six feet apart thing, and that's really anti-social in in its very nature. Um, so, this linguistic sort of uh, double speak is really starting to pervade the entire mainstream narrative around this issue, and that's usually a sign that they're engaging in some sort of uh, social engineering practice, and. The more I, I looked into it, yeah, these these terms are deliberately crafted to elicit a behavioral result, and uh, I basically go over in the article various um, you know points of consideration related to what these terms essentially are designed to do and what they're designed to evoke in people's day-to-day comportment yeah i was talking to my wife about you know i work with some folk i know some folk who are just trying to be really reasonable and um even the in the corporate news you know fox news they have been you know playing their usual um role as the uh, controlled opposition you know uh acting critical but still adopting so much of what has happened and you know people talk about going back to normal uh and you know we've already adopted so much language like that and that's the biggest thing to me is regardless of to what degree they allow us to uh go back to work so to speak we're all still using this these terms, social distancing. Like all of the sudden, everybody's an epidemiologist and mm. has an opinion about you know the proper distance. And if you don't, right. you know, it's just like total insanity. Coincidentally, I think we are all nearly about six feet apart. Just uh, just just by chance. That's true. However. It's uh, simply because of the setup that we have. Right. <laughs> Happens to be the microphones uh, work better in that way. If you right. can't hear me very well, it's because I'm wearing a mask. <laughs> God. Oh, and Hello. about, you know, so much of this has to do with speech, right? Mm-hmm. You, you talk about new words, new phrases, the linguistics, the cryptic subliminals. Um, right. How about the symbolism of having to wear a mask absolutely and what they're doing with youtube you know they're what are they they're masking everybody they're they're shutting everybody up and you know stay home don't go outside you know don't come out Mm -hmm. don't don't gather and protest it's the scarlet letter uh shaming yeah uh steve shul the mayor of durham he literally said in an indie weekly article that you sent me that he uh he wanted to bring about a situation where it's the people not wearing the mask who are feeling out of the ordinary and uh yeah correct it was uh i don't know if it was him who said that directly but certainly one of his uh constituents that made that very claim that this was to be the new normal and you were made to feel out of place if you didn't adhere to the uniform one size fits all solution or part of me synthesis. Ugh. Well, I mean, at the end of the day, it's not only muzzling you, it makes it kind of hard to like understand uh, mm-hmm. when you're talking to people, you have to like speak up and like through 
the mask and then also it's like a masquerade like what what are we really hiding we're hiding our we're hiding the most uh uh expressive aspects of our face right the nose and the lips and the mouth and the cheeks i mean this is what gives us a sort of you know free independent sort of out and about human form of dignity and you take that away by saying oh well you could be a carrier and you're actually like a, ooh, like oh there's something maybe wrong with everyone around everyone at, at any given point and we all just need to be extra reticent and that reticence uh, has to translate into compassion and uh, even if people are ultimately uh, evading one another and not actually being compassionate uh, that's uh, you know a hidden form of of love and consideration for for your fellow man and it, it's it's a very orwellian way of hijacking human uh human emotion and and and, 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 and Dude, desire I for share i did not see this yeah <laughs> yeah i mean um we're supposed yeah. to believe whatever they say in the moment right because initially no mask was okay it was the recommendation <clears throat> there were a lot of companies who actually sent memos out say don't wear a mask because we don't like the stigma of people possibly being symptomatic yes but now you know you, you know at least in some areas yes uh like the city of durham uh you have to wear your mask and if you don't wear your mask you get some judgy <clears throat> eyes it was all conjecture and you know it was just the talking points that were you know spoon fed of the soup du jour recommendations per you know cdc or whatever agency about how we were going to behave that day and from the next day moving forward yeah and people literally go on you know city instagrams to find out how they should behave the next day and then when when the uh student intern you know quickly responds to an instagram you know comment about um you know whether they should go to the park or not and they say no they thank them and it's like you, if the, if the mayor says to jump off a bridge i feel like there's going to be some uh some ems calls yeah you know that night that's right well i mean they've disclosed uh, at least our local municipality has disclosed that the ems has reassessed what calls are essential and non-essential so you may not get a uh, ambulance if you jump. I like the I like yeah. this um, introduction of essential uh, language because can it not be turned around? It absolutely can. <laughs> okay, and, and that's why I didn't include that. Essentially, in the article. it could. <laughs> it abs precisely because then we, then we have to get into questions of what is essence. All right, what's the essence of freedom? What's the essence of man what's the essence of a real economy well look if what's the essence of healthcare? <laughs> if the mayor is just a guy who can sign a piece of paper and then you know you move um i thought there were no titles of nobility mm -hmm. uh i want to i want more than six feet yeah. so, hold you're, on you're hold just... on i want more than six feet social distance so if you're the Census Bureau or some petty tax collector or some little government minder, you know, trying to, uh, I don't know, give me a ticket, um, right. stay away. Do, uh -huh. You know, police officers, as long as I'm not, you know, committing a crime, don't, you know, keep, stay, stay out. Of, I need social distance from you guys because you might have Cerveza virus. Right. And, you know, why can't I, why can't I use that for my own protection? Well, that's the thing is you see all these uh, experts coming out uh, in the presidential press conferences and they're, you know, just within a couple feet of each other. And, you know, they are the high decree and they don't have to wear masks. Oh, you know, it's interesting. Right. There was some really weird audio that came out from like a hot mic. Um, oh, yes. At the press briefing room where trump has been giving these and fauci and all them <laughs> listen to this what's up, hey. all right man where do you go baby you can take off the mask though the uh case fatality rates like 0.1 to 0.3 according to is it really 